So inshallah, what we want, that our next generation, that they should have that love with Allah's kalam. So mashallah, if the Arabic is strong, unlike us, if the Arabic is strong, they can understand the Quran directly, they can implement on the message, and they can educate the others. Keeping this in mind, mashallah, we started the school, and with Allah's help, alhamdulillah, we never imagined that we could achieve whatever we have achieved. It's basically Allah's help. Whatever we are doing in IRF, in Bombay, when we look back, we could not have dreamt of doing these things. And the best example is myself. During childhood, I used to stammer, and I was in a medical college. I could have thought of becoming the best doctor in my dream. In your dream, you can dream of anything. No one can stop you. But even in my dream, I could not have dreamt of speaking in front of 25 people because I was a stammerer. If you had asked me, what is your name? My name is Da 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 Kid. Imagine Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his help. What he has transformed in me. It's a miracle. Now I speak in front of tens and 20,000 people, 100,000 people. Largest audience I've addressed live is one million. Live, not on television, no, live. One million. And in India, mashallah, audience is always 40,000, 50,000. And the way we manage on time, we have 500 to 1,000 volunteers are volunteers. And when we call a guest speaker, there you see that when Dr. Isar Ahmed was called, not a single volunteer even shook hands with Dr. Isar Ahmed. Not that they didn't like him. They are trained. They are trained that Mujahid. They can't shift away from the duty. They have to do their duty. And then only will you get result. Everyone, we have got volunteers, doctors, engineers, mashallah, more than a thousand volunteers we have in Bombay. So whatever we do, we do professionally. That's the reason in our audiences, more than 25% are non-Muslims, more than 25%. When we have 40,000 audience, more than 10,000 are non-Muslim. More than what Muslims can gather here, we have non-Muslims there coming for our talks. Even on satellite, mashallah, there's a great percentage of non-Muslims watching our programs, and they appreciate mashallah. So I would like to leave the throat open for the question and session. I would like to end this talk of educating the educators, which was the main theme of this conference. And I chose Harrow, though I'm giving talks on every venue, different talks. I don't believe in giving the same talk every time. So I chose this venue, Harrow, the main theme, educate the educators in Harrow. And we leave the throat open for the question and session. I would like to end my talk with the question of the glorious Quran from Surah Isra. Chapter 17, verse 81, where Allah says, وَقُلْ جَعَلْ حَقْ وَزَاقَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ كَانَ زَهُوكَ When truth is hurled again falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood, it's by its nature bound to perish. وَآخِرُ الدَّعْوَانَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ